Before we get started, you must be aware of a couple of things first. Make sure your spring tension foot adjustment is set to your desired position. If you change it, you will have to readjust your whack master. Also, during installation and adjustments, make sure your foot is never applying any pressure to the foot pedal. Now you can remove your old hi-hat post. Prior to inserting your new whack master post into your hi-hat stand, notice the color-coded dial below the contoured grip. Think of the colors as a traffic light. Green is go, yellow is caution, and red is stop. The green is your safe zone. This is the area that provides you smooth, carefree adjustments. The yellow area indicates that you need to make a choice of which open hi-hat position you want to go into. Do not force the whack master into the red area. There are no adjustments here. We will be talking about these colors later. The dial is also numbered 3, 6, 9, and 12. Think of it as a clock. We will refer to all adjustments moving forward by referring to these clock locations. So if you're not colorblind and you can tell the time, you should be good to go. Now insert your Wagmaster post into the hi-hat stand. Make sure the 6 o'clock position is facing forward, lined up with your foot pedal. If you haven't done so already, adjust the height of the post to your comfort level and secure your post to the stand. The contoured grip should be aligned with the tension guide knob positioned between the 1 and 2 o'clock positions. Note this is just a reference point to get you started. You may find a preferred position point in this area after you have used the Whack Master a few times. Now install your bottom symbol. Now install your top symbol. Allow your top symbol to rest on the bottom symbol. Make sure as noted earlier that the tension guide knob is still positioned between the 1 and 2 o'clock positions. Now tighten the wing nut on the top clutch attached to the top symbol. Now let's check a few positions. In case you're wondering, when we initially set up the Whackmaster, we set it at 1 o'clock every time. This thing is always consistent. First, we'll go to simulated foot pressure. If we set our adjustments correctly, when we turn the contoured grip counterclockwise to 10 o'clock, we should have a nice tight hi-hat sound. Did you notice it went into this position easily? The only pressure you should feel is the slight pressure of the two symbols coming together. Now turn the contoured grip clockwise to around the 12 o'clock position and notice the normal close sound. Now keep turning clockwise very slowly as you're following the guide and notice the slight pitch changes. Notice that we stop right before entering into the yellow area. Once you get around to the 4 o'clock position, which is at the beginning of the yellow area, you will have two options. Option number one, you can either go to the drop down area starting at the 6 o'clock position and ending at the 8 o'clock area. This provides you your greatest opening. While in the wide open position, notice that there is an additional position slightly above the wide open setting. This may be tricky to find at first, but it does provide you an additional adjustment area if needed. To get out of the 8 o'clock position, turn the contoured grip counterclockwise until you reach the top, and then you can either continue turning counterclockwise and return to any of the areas from 5 o'clock, which is at the right edge of the yellow area, to 12 o'clock, which is your simulated foot pressure. To reach option 2, you can hold up the contoured grip while turning clockwise past 6 o'clock to the 9 o'clock position. This is your other open hi-hat positions, with the symbols set a little closer together. While in positions 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 8 o'clock, you'll never have to tighten the tension guide knob because our internal guides will hold your hi-hat securely into position. The variable adjustment area on the Whackmaster is positions 4 o'clock all the way back to 12 o'clock. Our internal guides are designed to keep the hi-hat adjuster in place at any of these positions, but for added security, you do have the options of locking the hi-hat adjuster in place at any of these locations. 
The Wackmaster hi-hat adjuster gives you flexibility unlike ever before. Notice how slightly we can adjust the plates. That type of adjustment has never been possible up until now. That's one of the added benefits of the Wackmaster hi-hat adjuster. The Wackmaster adds another benefit. Notice when we adjust the Wackmaster hi-hat adjuster to positions 8 and 9. We can have precision control over our hi-hats, something you never could have done by trying to adjust your hi-hat using the wing nut. We've only touched on a few things that you can do with your Wackmaster hi-hat adjuster. Drummers are known to be creative. Let's see what you can do with your Wackmaster.